Across the country, there have been confrontations between protesters, pro-Palestinian protesters and police. The latest on the campus of UCLA, we have been watching as police have finally moved in, smashing down tents, taking down some of the encampment and arresting those who were inside. At this hour, we've been watching them move in very quickly. Uh, they've been standing there since about one o'clock this morning, uh, waiting to push forward after telling the encampment that they were there illegally. The university sending out an alert uh, to students there. The students have been pushing back. We have seen them use, for example, fire extinguishers uh, on police. We have seen them using lights to try to blind the police uh, so that they can't see very well as they're trying to push in on an area that is a little bit smaller than the size of a football field that has been covered with tents and protesters for a week now. I want to give you a, a view from just minutes ago uh, as police started pushing in uh, trying to get the pro-Palestinian protester encampments and the protesters out. What you are hearing there are flashbangs or stun grenades uh, that the police are deploying, um, and you're hearing some of the students who are in that encampment uh, yelling as police, in in law in a mass move, are trying to what is called kettling, trying to get around this protest to try to make the smaller and smaller and smaller, so they are pushed into an area where they can then bring them out, detain them using the zip ties that we've been seeing them use throughout the morning. I want to get to our Camila Bernal. She is on the scene. There, uh, front and center, and has been watching this for hours now. Camila, what can you tell us is happening right now? Hey, Sarah, we're trying to get as close as possible because um, those police officers are also making progress and moving into the encampment. You see here behind me is all the tents that the police officers were able to push out of the way as they were moving into the encampment. This whole area was part of the encampment. And now what you're seeing is sort of an encirclement by police officers as they continue uh, to fire these flashbangs in the air to try to disperse the crowd. Uh, they're are definitely a lot more police officers than protesters are at the moment. It's actually hard to see where these protesters are, but they are um, in a group in the middle of all of these police officers off to the other side. What I think is happening is that they're also getting rid of that barrier that those protesters had set up with some of the plywood and the metal barriers. So you're seeing some police presence off in the back. You're hearing the group of protesters in the middle still chanting and still very much defiant, despite the fact that they are surrounded uh, by law enforcement officers. We have not seen them move in closer in the last couple of minutes, but again, you just never know when uh, these officers move in closer and closer to give these protesters less room. And then you continue to see people uh, being arrested and being detained and being moved out of this area. We also are seeing a bus ready right next to this area to take take a lot of these people that are being uh, detained. Um, so as you're seeing now, these police officers are trying to get some of that garbage or some of the things that were in the encampment. They are right now moving in closer and closer. You're seeing that happening at the moment as they move out the tents, as they move out all of the things that these protesters had inside of the encampment. And as they get closer to that group of protesters who are still very much defiant and who are standing in the middle. They are all holding uh, arms, linking arms and trying to stay in place as you're seeing more and more of these officers bringing all of these tents out of the encampment. Um, so again, it's been a very intense morning with a lot of police activity and a lot of uh, protesters who say they're not leaving, who say they still want to be here. Just moments ago, I was still seeing a Palestinian flag being waved in the air. But, you know, take a look at this. They're 
taking out bicycles, they're taking out blankets, they're taking out all of the tents and sort of pushing them off to the side as officers make progress and move further and further in. But you can clearly see that they have essentially uh, taken over the encampment. The police officers have as they continue to move further in. I'm trying to get closer to see uh, the group of protesters who are still surrounded by officers. Uh, they're all trying to stay in a group uh, to stay together and stand firm. But, you know, it is essentially impossible with the amount of law enforcement officers that you are seeing right now. You hear them sh uh, shouting and you do hear police officers telling them to move, to move. Um, and clearly they're not doing so and they're trying to stand there. Uh, but there are not many left in terms of what I'm seeing right in front of me. It's a smaller group of protesters who are trying uh, to hold uh, their ground. But again, police officers continue to move in, guys. Camila Bernal, uh, thank you so much for that, for setting the scene for us this morning. Uh, it, it will be daybreak there, uh, and we will be able to see the scene much clearer in just a bit here. Uh, but you are describing what is going on on UCLA's campus. I am standing out in front of uh, Columbia University, which is really the epicenter of where uh, these campus protests began uh, a couple of weeks ago. That one on UCLA, we are seeing some serious uh, police action there using sun grenades and all sorts, a manner of things to try and make this a smaller and smaller and smaller encampment until they are going to, what it appears, arrest those who are left. We have seen at least a half dozen arrests just in the past 30 minutes uh, from watching the video there where you're seeing them detain protesters. We also have Ben Camacho, uh, who is on the line, a freelance journalist who was there last night as all of this was starting to go down. You said that you were watching this happen sort of around 5 o'clock. There are police on the scene from several different agencies. And then what? When did you really see uh, the police start to move in? Because for a very long time yesterday, they were on the outskirts of this encampment and they were not moving in. They were just sort of holding a line. Yeah, that's correct. So I I didn't really see uh, much action from the cops uh, up until maybe 1.30 in the morning uh, when LAPD did break through a small part of the barricade. Uh, on one on uh, on one side of the camp, uh, and then that's when uh, several hundred protesters did surround the couple dozen uh, LAPD officers who uh, did break through the barricade. Uh, that's when protesters also did uh, manage to push those officers out of their encampment uh, and seal the barricade back up. Do you have any sense, um, Ben, of the numbers of people, if there were any arrests the night before when there was a, a battle? There has been a lot of um, criticism that police were not on campus uh, the night before when you had this clash between uh, the pro-Israeli protesters who ended up attacking those on campus that were part of the pro-Palestinian encampment. Uh, we did see uh, people getting beaten up. At least one person was beaten and kicked, uh, kicked and used pipe on them uh, and so we saw some violence there do you have any sense of, of where that stands and what some of the complaints have been about what happened uh, prior to the police now going into the encampment and trying to clear it no I, I wasn't there last night all I, I was I've just been following the story online uh, I, I just know that you know counter protesters uh, did attack the camp um, and you know they try to defend themselves but you know when people arrive with pipes then you know and unless you have a pipe or something else it's kind of hard to defend yourself so there was bloodshed um and i don't know if anyone has been arrested at this time for that 